everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have another Project Pan update for you. This is my update for Every Day is a Holiday. It is a collab with the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group and I am going to have everyone from that Facebook group that has joined in the collab listed down below. So please go check them out. The idea of this project was to pick a product for each month that was assigned a holiday that is in that particular month. And we have a bonus holiday because we have a lot of international people in our Facebook group. And that bonus holiday is basically any day, any holiday that they celebrate that is specific to their culture or whatever holiday that they wanted to add in. We just wanted to make sure that everyone felt welcome since a lot of the holidays in here are American holidays and we really want to embrace every culture. So because this was created by myself, Amanda and Rose, Amanda and I are both American and Rose is Dutch. So we chose for our bonus holiday, Dutch King's Day. However, everyone else can choose whatever holiday they want as their own bonus holiday. I am happy to say I finally have an empty for this project and it just happened not long ago, just like a day or so ago. And that one is for Christmas and my youngest son actually is crazy about Frosty the Snowman and we play that for him every Christmas time, the movies and everything. So I chose a Frosty White eyeshadow from my Sephora Colorista palette and that is it. It is done and I am happy to have another eyeshadow done. So let's get into all the other products and some of them I can tell you right now I haven't even touched since the intro and we'll get into that in a second. Starting with January we've got New Year's and for that I chose the Royal Locks Party Curl Cocktail and I do have a little bit of progress here. I started here at the intro and now I am down to this line. As many of you know, I had been wearing my hair very natural for the last week and a half to almost two weeks because we've had a ton of rain here. So this has come in very handy. February is Valentine's Day and you spend that with your sweetie or he gets you sweets. So I chose the Elf Ain't That Sweet Smudge Pot and I am making some progress on it. Hopefully you can see that. I do have pan because this product moves around a lot. It's very soft and I kind of wanted to be able to see progress on it. So I made sure all the product was over on the one side. And now I can actually see when I am using up some product. It's gonna take me pretty much the whole year for this one but I do use it pretty regularly. St. Patrick's Day and Easter, they're both fragrances that I have not touched, so we're not even gonna go into those just yet. May is Cinco de Mayo, one of the non-American holidays. For that, I chose this NYC eyeliner because it was made in Mexico, and I finally have a little bit of progress on this, and I mean just a little bit. If you look here, this is where I started, and this is where I am right now. Let's see if I can actually line this thing up. There we go. Not a ton of progress, but I'm finally getting somewhere with it. This, if I can finish it this year, is going to take the whole year. June is flag day and I chose another eyeliner for that. This one happens to be from Tarte. It is the Tarte Cashmere Eyeliner and this was made in the USA and I can't even show you my progress on it. There is still some product there at the top, and I'm sure that there's still some more in there, even though I use this pretty much every day. I can't wind it up because it doesn't go back down, so when it's done, it's going to surprise both of us. July, 4th of July is another fragrance. Haven't touched it yet. It is a very summer fragrance, so we won't go into that one. August is International Beer Day, so I chose the Coastal Scents Oktoberfest because Oktoberfest is all about beer, and I do have some usage, but no real dip on that yet. I'm just going to keep working on it. This is going to get a ton of usage in the fall, so just a little usage here and there, and in the fall, I'm really going to go out hard. 
September is 9-11 Remembrance Day, and I chose this blue eyeshadow from the Sephora Colorista palette to honor the Fire Department New York and NYPD officers that so valiantly fought to save everyone. And as you can see, I have hit pan on that. I like to use this to either um, set my eyeliner or I actually use it as an eyeliner. So that's why it's got like that deep dip and not any usage around it. October is Halloween and this is the one that I accidentally missed in the intro, but it is because it's black I chose this, the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and this is the Shimmer, and I have finally started using it. But there's a ton of product in there, and I don't love it, so I hope I use it up quick because I am a disco ball when I wear this stuff. Apparently it doesn't come through that way on camera, but in real life, I am shimmery. November is Thanksgiving. I have the Bare Minerals. It's the 5-in-1 Eyeshadow Sweet Spice. Didn't touch it since last update, so I'm not even going to pull it out. And my bonus holiday is Dutch King's Day. The color's apparently orange, which I didn't have any orange products, so I went with a Dutch chocolate color, and that is from my Sephora Colorista palette. I do have a mini dip in this one, but I haven't used it a ton, but it's tiny, so I'm not really that worried about it because I have all year. Okay, that is everything for this Every Day is a Holiday update. Please go check out all of the wonderful ladies that are in this collab. They are going to be listed down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.